Hello and welcome to Install Database Software. My name is Steve Hamilton and I'll be your instructor for this module. Okay, let's get started. In this lesson, we will learn how to install the Oracle 12C database software. This is specific to Oracle 12C. We will define the overall database requirements, install the software itself, as well as configure the database software. We're already making the assumption that we have installed Oracle 12C grid infrastructure. So in the pecking order, you must install the grid infrastructure first and then install the database software. So first of all, where can the software be downloaded from? Please go to www.oracle.com, download the software for your specific operating system, place it in a staging directory, unzip it. Once it is unzipped, it will create a directory called database. So in your staging directory, you really will have two subdirectories. You will have one for database and you will have one for grid. Obviously the grid software is installed from that directory and the database software is installed from the database directory. Again, it is only installed after grid infrastructure has been successfully installed. So in order for this install to work, GI software must be installed, ASM must be created, the clusterware should be up and running. If the clusterware is not up and running, this install will not work. Within ASM, you should have also created a default disk group. I know here we have that default disk group as data, but typically in a racked environment, that default disk group is going to be something called RAC or CRS. The data in the FRA disk group will be created after the database software is installed before the database is created. So in the pecking order, we have grid infrastructure installed, database software installed, create additional disk groups, and then create the cluster database. So that's exactly what I've done, is I've gone to node one. Now again, there's no specific requirement to start from a particular node, but best practices is to choose one node to install all of the database software from. In this particular case, we are choosing rack one as our source. So from rack one, we've installed the grid infrastructure and we will also install the database software. So I've navigated to the database directory, issued the dot forward slash run installer command. It will come up and ask me, do I want to remain informed of Oracle Metalinks? Typically, you're going to say no. So you will uncheck that box. When you uncheck that box, you're gonna get this nasty warning message that says, do you wish to remain uninformed of software updates? Go ahead and say yes, because nine times out of 10, these database servers are not connected to the internet. There's no way they would receive the updates anyway. You're gonna be receiving the updates through a Metalink account or whatever account you have set up with Oracle. So uncheck the box and say yes, you wish to remain uninformed. This is very important. We will only install the database software. Do not choose install and create. So strictly and cho choose to install database software only, which is the middle option. You will choose Oracle installation for a real application cluster. Do not choose for a standalone instance. Again, this will be the middle option. All this does is install software on node one and then sends it over to node two. When we come up here, out of the gate, the first node or the node that you're starting from will be checked. The additional nodes will not be checked. It is best practices to check all nodes within the rack. In this particular case, we have a two node rack, so we want to install the database software to both nodes within the rack. Choose your language of choice. In this particular case, our language of choice will be English. We will be choosing an Enterprise Edition installation, and this installation is about six gig. So from your grid infrastructure installation, it's almost seven gig. The software installation for the database is a little over six. So just the combination of two of these software installations alone is about 13 gig on your OS. So in our case, we will choose Enterprise Edition, for installation location, accept the default, which is the Oracle base, and then the Oracle home. 
So after the installation is complete, we will have effectively one Oracle base and two Oracle homes. We'll have an Oracle home for the database and an Oracle home for the grid infrastructure. We can see that the Oracle base is user one app Oracle and the Oracle home is user one app Oracle product 12.1.0 slash DB home. As we can see here, we have other things like operating system group, summary, and finish. At this point, you would just hit next, 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 and allow it to install the software to all nodes within the rack. So once you get to here, where you're defining your Oracle base and your Oracle home, everything from there on out is just next, 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 and go ahead and hit finish. And this will install software on all nodes within the rack. This software installation would take about 30 minutes. Thank you for attending.